Good afternoon and uh, welcome once again to my daily chat. This is episode 849 and the topic today is about taking your time while dating and why that might be a good idea. So before I give you the whole explanation, let me jump in by first saying, sorry, by introducing myself first, then we'll jump in. I'll give myself in the right sequence. So if you're here for the first time, thanks for joining me. My name is Barry Zerby. Um, I am an inspirational speaker, love and relationships expert, helping women create balance in love, life, and business. And I'm also the author of the best-selling book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, a book that I highly recommend for singles, couples, men, and women, um, because it really breaks down relationship principles. And also, um, because of being a passionate champion of the divine feminine, is why I support women, particularly in my work, but also what started these talks almost three years ago now, called Messages for the Masculine, Inspiring a Feminine Heart, which is why today we're in our episode 849. <laughs> done a few of these so the topic today is going to be about dating and why you might want to take some time so um, I invite your input if you're actually watching me live this is a Facebook live by the way in case you're watching on YouTube later on I will give you links to the replays at the back end where you can find me on YouTube and on Facebook so you can watch the replays so today's topic is on the principle about um, well there's there's a, there's, there's a spectrum of dating range. <laughs> there's the instant date, which is the swipe right, say hi, get together and bang and, and knock boots and everything else. And then there's the more old fashioned approach, which is meeting somebody through referrals of friends or some service and getting to know somebody, taking your time, getting to explore and then decide if you want to be together or not. And I'm going to speak more to the latter because frankly, the former is very easy. It's easy to meet somebody online, get together, have sex and be done with it. That unfortunately, isn't necessarily where the best relationships start. Sometimes they do, but oftentimes not. And what I'm talking about taking your time is because if you're really looking to date for a long-term relationship, why would you rush into it? I'll leave you with that question to think about for a moment, and I'll explain some things about it. For me, personally and professionally, dating is a, well, the way one of my teachers put it is for men, Dating is a sorting process, meaning you're going, you're going through, are you the one, are you the one, are you the one, sequencing through to find the one you want to be with. So in one way, that's kind of true. But beyond that, I would say that dating is almost like a test drive. Because if you want to have a long-term relationship, it's good to know before you jump in that you've got more ducks in a row. Hi, Christian. I see my broadcast. Thanks for the thanks for the feedback. Yes, exactly. And the thing is, and I did a talk, I did a whole talk yesterday um, about... Um, having common values. In fact, I talked about uh, religion, spiritual, uh, religion, uh, politics, and iPhone versus Android <laughs> was my theme yesterday. So I recommend watching that talk. That was kind of fun. But in that point of view is that you want to have somebody you're compatible with, that you'll get together with. You have a certain value system that is com uh, that is harmonious. Better way of putting it. I keep saying compatible. That's just a generic term. So my my position on this and I know that dating is a term which is around like you're going steady as dating it's like no I don't look at it that way I believe personally that dating is the preliminary test drive before you actually commit to a fully immersive relationship because if you're going to spend time with somebody monogamously one on one that's a relationship that's not dating anymore dating is when you go out on dates to get to know somebody and for me that's that's black and white how it works some people look at dating as like well you go dating with somebody for two years like no May have gone on four dates, but once you commit to that relationship, it ain't dating anymore. It's a relationship. So own it, honor it, respect it. Because for some people, dating is an easy out. When you date, it can be easy to say, well, I was only dating them, so it doesn't matter that much. But when you're in a relationship, you make it more serious. So some people are not willing to claim or own relationships early on because they don't want to be in that commitment. And that's something for you to reflect on because maybe that's true for you, maybe not. So my positioning on this, as I said, is... Dating is the test drive before relationship. So why would you want to take your time? As I said, and I'll say it a different way, <laughs> if you want to be in a good relationship, you want to be one that's going to be healthy, it's going to last, it's going to be going on for a while. And if it is, why wouldn't, why, well, I say why wouldn't you? It'd be best served to spend your time getting to know somebody and get to know more about who they are. And the thing about it is, is that, um, uh, say it this way. There are some players out there, some people who, who act like they're what you want, but they don't really back it up with truth. They put on a good presentation. And frankly, you can get fooled by that easily. 
and I'm not saying which gender is which because that happens both ways. When you take the time to get to know somebody and really check them out, you'll notice if those behaviors are real or just an aberration. Meaning if it's authentically who they are, or if they're putting on a front that's to convince you that they're something that they're not, and when you get in a relationship with them, they drop their masks and reveal themselves to be something they're not, not fun. So understanding that you have that clarity, understanding that you have that understanding, and having the choice to take the time to get to know somebody, and this is a question mark about the sex piece too, we'll get to that in a moment. So you get to know if the person is somebody you want to spend your time with. Sex is an interesting thing, in more ways than one. But one of the parts of sex is that for women especially, it's a very bonding experience. It is for men too, but much more so for women, chemically speaking and hormonally speaking. Understanding that for men and women, there is a, I said bonding, but there's this uni, um, well, almost unity that happens after sex. For some, oh, okay, let me put that piece in too. For some people, for some people it's an absolute like repulsion that happens after sex, so it's an interesting thing. So having sex early on can be a very dysfunctional relationship. Not saying you should hold out to a marriage, that's not my teaching, but I would say hold out intimacy on a physical level, sexual intercourse, so to speak, until you feel safe enough in yourself and with this person that you want to explore that because it is a very energetically bonding experience. And in some spiritual terms, it's like you actually are... Um, you're, you're tied together by cords, energetic cords, so to speak. So if you get together with somebody early on, have sex early on, and then it's not working out, you're still tied to them energetically. And if it and you break up and you've come apart, it may not be ideal. So it's worth taking your time to get to that point. And that time is up to you. I'm not saying what the right rules are. There's no like three months, six months, or nothing. there's no rules. It's about what is authentic for you. So take the time. You can tell early on pretty much if you go on somebody on dates, three, four dates, whether or not there's something there for you or not. If you wait 10 dates to see if they're going to make a move, something's going to happen, you may be waiting too long. So having your own system that works, well, actually, let me say another way. Having a way it does it that works for you is great. If you don't know what works for you and it's not working for you, then might want to change it. Sounds simple, I know. But having a focus on what you really want to, um, to do and to bring to the conversation gives you an opportunity to really know what is valuable to you. What is important to you? That's the question I was going to ask as well, because knowing what's important to you, I talked about yesterday about red flags and green flags big time, and the understanding that if you don't know what you really want, what is your green flags, and you don't know what you don't want, which are your red flags, you might end up being steamrolled by somebody else because they are convinced they want to be with you and you don't have any argument. Know what you want, be clear about what you want, and know how to find out if that's going to match or not. There's nothing wrong with the other person not matching what you want. It's just not worth your time to commit something that's not lining up for what you really believe and value for yourself. For me, this, this dating exposition, this exploration of relationship requires that you step in to explore, to know, and to decide if this is what you want to have. And there is another reason why I talk about having you be much more focused on um, stepping into a, thank you for the love, I appreciate it, Christiane. Um, Yes, honoring, thank you, honoring a sacred temple, perfectly put. This is the thing, you're, actually, I don't know if I can say it any other way, Christian, you were so on point, yes, honoring a sacred temple, thank you, that just says it perfectly. When it comes to sexual intercourse and that bonding, I call it making love because for me it's a love act, that when you're together with somebody else, if they desecrate your sacred temple, that's really going to mess things up for you, regardless of who they are and when they go away but internally for you you're going to carry some level of judgment or blame or guilt or upset about what happened so honoring sacred temple as you put it is a perfect way of framing it because you want to honor yourself in any relationship you honor yourself on all levels of that relationship spending time with somebody is one thing but when you commit on a physical level that is another that raises the bar raises a level standard and it puts you in a place where you may feel like you're more invested than you want to be so taking the time to step back, to choose wisely, and to be clear about what you're doing is a good place to step in because dating is an exploration. It is a test drive, as I said, and having the understanding that you want to test drive enough times to know you want to jump in is healthy. So that's why I talk about in this framework. There's another piece that was coming in and you just slipped out. And said, oh, yes. So if you want to look for a long-term relationship, your intention is to have a long-term, committed, joyful relationship 
there's going to be certain things you want to have along the way. One of the things I was, I was watching actually a face um, it was a TED talk recent. It was a TED talk about one of the core elements of a long term relationship that works is that the two people are in, are friends with each other, and some relationships start and end without friendship being part of the conversation. Taking the time to explore, to get to know somebody, to make friends with them is a good basis on which to build your relationship from that point forward because that will sustain you through some times when it's not working out the way you want it to. When you have friendship, there's a willingness to go deeper. There's a willingness to own your stuff. There's a willingness to do the work to make the relationship better. So all of these things at the beginning, um, they bear out and they have weight when you get into a long-term relationship. Now, if you're again, if you're just dating for sex and, and giggles, and sex, you know, sh shits and giggles, go for it, have fun with it. But if you're looking to have, have a long-term relationship, and I do coach my clients to have healthy long-term relationships, it starts at the beginning with how you choose to go in. It starts with how you date, it starts with how you choose to get to know the other person, and it starts with how you take care of yourself when you do that, so you don't give away the goods, of, <laughs> it's like you, don't, you don't give away the goods of the kingdom, so to speak, um, as was said about honoring your sacred temple. It's about really owning your space and honoring what you, who you are and what you're looking for in dates. Qualification in dating is like, it's almost like going for a job interview. It's almost like going for again, test driving cars. I keep coming back to analogies. It's true. When you really do value yourself and you choose what you're looking to do in a relationship and what you want in a relationship, it's good to be clear up front, by the way. Then when you go on dates, you already know what you're going in with an understanding that this person will be a good choice, a possible match, or a definite no. And having all those in combined is a smart move. So my invitation to you, well, actually a couple of invitations. One invitation is to, if you're, on the, if you're single and dating, be aware of what I said. Take that into your dating experience. What is it you really want? And take the steps to find matches for that. The other invitation is, if you are stuck in this area, not sure how to get that, I'm going to invite you to reach out to me to get some help. Because frankly, dating is... It's easier now because of all this date, the smartphone apps and the swiping apps and everything else. But it's also harder because it's harder to make the discerning choices. When you know, working with my clients, that dating um, perspective starts from internally what, getting clear about what you want. And yesterday's talk, I was talking about getting clear about what you do want and what you don't want. And knowing what those are as a clarification because it gives you the framework in which you go out and dating in the world. Or in your dating pool, so to speak. So I actually offer in my, in my coaching a few things that help you with that. So I'll put some links in the comments for you anyway, because, not anyway, I'll put some links in the comments because they will help you if you want to step into that. But really it's about what putting yourself first in your dating choices, to get clear about what you want, to really know what is valuable to you, and then making decisions based upon that. So you're willing to walk away from somebody either on a first date or a 15th date where things don't line up for you and be clear about that. At the same time, if somebody is a good match, you're willing to take the time to get to know them to make sure they really are a good match, like an insurance policy in a way. But it takes willingness to step forward. So be willing to get into dating the right way. Be willing to honor yourself so you don't say yes to things you don't want to have. And also be willing to take the right action steps to get where you want to go. So things I'm, I mentioned some things I'll put in the comments. Um, for the ladies, I have a course called Attract the Man You Want. That's going to be in the comments because it'll help you get what you want. That's in case you want to know the verbal link. It's barryselby.com forward slash ATM, Attract the Man. That's designed for women to get the love they want. Um, also, I'll put a link in the comments to have a chat with me. In my coaching with clients, it's a lot of exposing and understanding what's not working, what is working. So I'll put a link in the comments to have a chat with me, which is barryselby.com forward slash chat. So you can have a chat with me about what's working and what really does line up and where you can get some help to go where you want to go. And maybe we can work together. We'll see what happens. And thirdly, I'll put a link in the comments for my book. So they mentioned at the beginning because I recommend a book for everybody who wants to understand relationships. It works for you simply and effectively. And that's barrysober.com forward slash book. Make it easy for the links. Um, this is just the top of, tip of the iceberg on dating because there's a lot more to talk about. But this will give you something to think about and process or work through. So this is something that I hope you'll take to heart. I do have a bunch of other talks, so I'll let you know where to find the replays because this stuff, relationships is a big topic. That's why I talk about it every day. And that's why there's 849 of these out there now. So if you haven't seen my replays before, I do it, by the way, if you haven't seen me live before, every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time, right here on my personal page, which is Barry Selby on Facebook, you can find my replays. You can follow me and, and watch them there. 
There should be somewhere in this broadcast a place you can tap on. There's like three dots you can tap on, which shows more information. And one of those is be notified next time, next time I go live, so you can follow me then. Secondly, the replays on my business page are available, which is barrysoby.author on Facebook. Um, up to about 350, 400 of theirs are there. They're not all there because some, for some reason Facebook doesn't save them all, but I do. So I save my, full, my broadcasts on Facebook Live and put them onto YouTube. So if you go to youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Barry Selby, um, or just look, look for my name on YouTube, Barry Selby, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's a playlist on there called Messages from the Masculine where all of these, every single one, are listed in reverse order. Um, you could you could binge watch those and get a lot of information about love and relationships, or you can shortcut it and have a talk with me. So the links will be in the comments after I sign off so you can get the help you need and get love lined up so your heart and your mind and your love are all lined up. And with that, I think I've given you enough to work with. I appreciate you watching, appreciate the input, and I do recommend you take care of yourself in your dating life. Even if you're single, even if you're in a relationship, take care of yourself because that's the top priority. So with that, I thank you for watching. I will see you again same time tomorrow. I appreciate any questions, thoughts. If you can reach out to me over social media, you can message me. I do respond. And uh, with that, I thank you for watching this broadcast. I will see you again tomorrow, same time, same channel. Take care of yourself. Bye.